Hi, my love, Rosie with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be your Layers of You reading. Um, so first I wanted to say happy birthday to you because I know you mentioned that this is your, it's for your birthday, it was a gift. Um, so for the Layers of You, um, as I'm sure you already know, it's a five tier reading. So we're gonna be pulling on your energy, your love life, the money career, um, the spiritual, and then your future forecast. So let's just jump right in. Let's do your current energy right now. And I'm going to be pulling from my Major Arcana deck. So your current energy right now. Go get, go ahead and just get comfortable. Um, if you want to take some notes in your reading, I would highly recommend it. Layers of you readings can get a little bit lengthy. So this, like I said, this video could be up to 30 minutes or so. into your energy especially since this is your birthday so birthdays are like New Year's um, literally like a reset and um, so treat it as your New Year literally <laughs> So your energy going into this new year. Ooh, you got the world. I love it. So the world card coming up for you with your energy is revealing you are going to be seeing so many completions this year. Um, and when I say this year, this new year, I don't mean like just the remainder of the year that we have. I'm talking about literally your new year, okay? So from the day of your birth, like your birthday, and then the next whole year after that. Um, so this is a completion year for you, okay? You may even be finding that even on your birthday or like a couple days prior to it, you're going to be seeing a lot of completion, a lot of endings, a lot of answers, um, things that maybe you've been waiting to get answers on or clarifications or um, just some sort of, of a finality is going to be happening with you um, this new year. Ooh, you also got the sacral chakra. Perfect. We have grounding. We have guidance. I love it. So sacral chakra coming up for you is revealing working a lot with your creative, your passions, that energy point, okay? The sacral is associated with the color orange. Um, carnelian is a really good crystal for sacral energy. Um, but the sacral it resides in your abdomen area. It is um, all about creation, um, making something, birth, babies, um, fertility, um, but not just fertility as in creating and having a baby, but it's also about the fertility of within you, your passions for life, your passions for um, doing activities and, and projects and, and classes or um, a job or anything, in, or anything that you surround yourself with in life should be um, literally breathing passion and life into you, okay? That's sacral energy. Um, we have grounding coming up with the root chakra and we also have the third eye chakra coming up with guidance. Um, so I'm seeing that it's going to be very important with your current energy to ground yourself through the process of maybe seeing some finalities happen, okay? Um, maintaining groundedness um, and then also using your third eye, your intuition to lead you into the next step. Okay, trusting that intuition more, trusting, you know, the things that you need to, that you know you need to do, um, seeing the synchronicities in your day to day and knowing that that's like literally the universe telling you that you are on the right path. Okay, um, so beautiful energy right now with you. 
I feel like it's almost like the sensation of you've been waiting for this moment for quite some time, that you've been waiting for um, answers or waiting for to see like, when is it okay for you to move forward? Um, the Eight of Swords is coming up with the Death card. To me, that this is this means endings to pains, endings to mental conflicts, or feeling trapped, or feeling like you're unable to move forward. You're going to be seeing endings with that as the Death card. He's facing the Eight of Swords. Okay, um, the Death card is also a message of transformation. So obviously, with your birthday and your whole New Year starting up. Um, you are going to be transforming into new mindsets, I feel, because the sword suit is revealing that new mindsets um, with you to start embracing a different way of approaching your life. Um, you're going to be paying more attention to your thought process, the way that you um, the way that you touch base with that and also your communication skills. Um, I feel like that's what's also going to be evolving with you. The King of Cups is like that therapy card. He's like the, the calm energy, the, the listener. Um, he's very poetic. He's very full of like um, expression, like expressing yourself. Like, so I was talking about communication. Um, but I feel like maybe this is a need to seek out some kind of a, a therapeutic activity or therapy in itself where you can communicate and you can kind of release some of these tensions some of these mental conflicts, some of these things that need to be changed or put an end to, okay? So that can also reveal that this, this birthday, this new year, will also be revealing the energy of you touching base with some of the most more emotional aspects um, and, and getting rid of those things. Um, again, with like that guidance card, I feel like this is also the year where you will be feeling more in tune and more connected with your spiritual, more connected with your intuition and whatnot. Um, so you're going to be seeing yourself advancing in so many different ways with that. And that's a good, that's a good sign because the more that you trust your intuition, um, the more you're going to be able to evolve. Okay. And, and, in in that way, um, okay. So let's pull on the love life. The love life. Let's see what. I'm also gonna pull from the fairies. Do some research. You need more information about this situation. Look into it further before proceeding. So that could indicate maybe needing to, um, you know, if there's something going on with the relationship that maybe you need a little bit more insight with, right? Or this could also be needing to communicate more on a deeper level with, with the significant other. This could also be an indication too. I don't know, for some reason I was thinking family tree. So maybe that has also been something on your mind too, is to kind of do, oh, there's your eight of swords again, to do some research um, on the family tree and figuring out to see like where where you came from, who, what your family is all about, that kind of thing. For some reason that was popping up too. Um, so interesting that the eight of swords came up again. Um, so uh, some of the stuff that you'll be dealing with energetically is aligned with the love life, okay? Um, so there is some stuff that maybe you need to set yourself free with. Maybe there is some um, a need to allow yourself to heal from stuff from the past, stuff from in the relationship, con conversations, topics. Oh, I want you to be able to see the table better. <laughs> conversations, topics, that sort of thing. Um... There's also balance, the giving and receiving in the relationship, okay? So I feel like there's a need for coming out of the mental state. You guys need to have more conversations, deeper conversations, making sure that you're constantly checking in with one another. Um, the Six of Pentacles is the balance between that two, the two of this. This, is, this could also be the exchange, like working together 
to save money to, um, you know, because the not the king of pentacles is also coming up which is could be an indication of saving money because maybe you guys have a goal in mind okay this could be a goal of um of owning a home or moving or something doing something to enhance this relationship and and it's going to involve some 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 of the material and so coming out of that understanding that the the two of you working together you can succeed with that okay um, intuition popping up again with the Queen of Cups. Um, and Queen of Cups energy is very much very nurturing, very loving, motherly, but also very therapeutic and, and a lot of like understanding the emotions. So I feel like it's being attentive to your mate um, intuitively. You know, if you feel like there's something that needs to be said or something that needs to be talked about, trusting that intuition and that feeling that you have and, and, and having that conversation with them. Um, and then we have the, the Knight of Pentacles, which is an opportunity that could be arising coming soon with the relationship. This could be a gift that could be, you know, coming through um, an opportunity. So that little pentacle can indicate, you know, and I just saw 111, 11, I'm sorry. So to me, that's positive affirmations or, or positive mindsets. Um, but I see this pentacle as indicating a gift or some sort of an offering or an opportunity that may be, um, coming up with you in your relationship. Um, if the two of you are talking about starting a family, that could also be a topic that might be happening, um, that might be coming up a lot, you know, as I'm seeing, like there's something in the laps or in the hands of all of the, the court cards. And it just seems to me like the, maybe there's that topic, that exchange, um, of maybe talking about growing this family, right? Um, starting a family or seeing where the two of you want to be in the next couple years um, with your relationship and your, you know, the future. We have possessions, belongings, finances, assets, treasures. So possessions, this, to me, this is also combining that with the relationship, sharing the possessions, but also I feel like the two of you are going to be doing some financial things, um, so whether it's investing or it's saving money or there's, there's some goal in mind with the finances, with the possessions, um, maybe it's the two of you thinking about moving and relocating and, but there, to me, there's just something there doing the research on that. It would be wise that before you make some major changes to your home or your, or completely moving all together or whatnot, doing the research, making sure that you guys are looking deeper into it before you make that initial exchange. Um, so don't just buy the first house you see kind of thing. Like that's the kind of advice <laughs> that I would say with the do your research. Like make sure you're looking into any possible, uh, any possibility, um, any probability before making a, you know, major decision. Sorry, my love. Just okay. Um, I think that's all I'm seeing with that. And you know, these growths and stuff with the relationship and things that you want to have happen, whether it's growing a family or saving or dealing with the financial stuff um that could be the cause the root of a lot of the stresses and the things that make you feel like you aren't able to completely you know be free um because maybe there is a lot of worry with that we have it the, as the worry card or the, the fear card is the change the death so you know change change is necessary to grow in a relationship but maybe there is a need for um having to really have a deep one-on-one -on -one conversation with the spouse so that you guys can make sure you're on the same page about your dreams, your goals, the future, what you want to have happen in this relationship. Or things, if you do want to create a family, you know, start discussing when you would want to or what, what would make you feel more comfortable for that possibility. Let's look at the finances. So the energy of your finances, we have the Six of Cups, beautiful. We have the Page of Cups, the Three of Cups, so many cups for the finances. Um, so I, what I'm seeing is definite, this is definite help 
okay? Um, I feel like there is a lot to celebrate coming up in the future. One Working one-on-one, -on -one, like I said, it's a team. So if you and your significant other are working towards a goal with the finances, you guys are going to hit it, okay? You're going to hit it. Um, the Page of Cups is a messenger, someone coming forward with a message or some helpful advice. This could be maybe some coming into some money that you were not expecting. Um, so that could be that little fishy could indicate a check coming in the mail, um, getting some overtime that was unexpected, winning something from playing a lottery ticket or those little scratchers. I mean, it could indicate anything, but some kind of offering will be coming towards you with money um, and it'll be unexpected. And then it's like the three of cups kind of reveals something to be excited and celebrate over. Um, and it's just, to me, it's all of the cups is your emotions. You're just, when you change your attitude, your emotions about your finances and whatnot, you will see the vibration of it change as well. So coming more from an emotional, your heart, um, kind of a, an energy versus, um, like literally downright worrying about it. We have a responsibility coming up with the sacral chakra. And we have action coming up. So responsibility and action is kind of saying when it comes to your finances, making responsible choices with your finances. But also I feel like you are realizing what needs to happen here and you're taking you're taking that all into consideration. You're taking it seriously. So it's almost like you guys are, are shifting with your finances and you're starting to be more smart with your money, um, maybe investing it in different ways or you're saving or just, you're, you're gonna start seeing a really positive shift to transition with your money finances. Um, then action is also coming forward. So taking action, making the next step. So maybe for a while you guys have been planning to do something and you're not really sure when it's the right time, but the, what the cards are revealing is kind of, you're getting there, you're getting the help you need. Maybe you've had some, some support from family members who are helping with the finances at times. Um, that maybe that's what that is. Maybe there will be someone coming through with money at just the right moment um, or advice or whatnot, but action needs to happen. So if you guys are saving up for a house or you guys are saving up for something major, making sure that you do take action with all of this, that you've been working so hard with it for, that you want to make sure that you are and your shadow card is the 10 of wands. So it's definitely been um, an uphill journey with you with finances. The career too as well could be that. you Maybe you're feeling like you're just constantly working, 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 and you're not really seeing an end result anywhere. But that three of cups really makes me feel like there is going to be something celebrating or something worth celebrating soon in the future. Um, it's a three, so it could indicate three months from now. It could be March. Um, but I feel like there is a need to celebrate something big taking place financially with you, okay? Um, let's talk about your spiritual. Knight of Cups, Page of Wands, Hangman. Lots of patient energy here with your um, spirituality, okay? I feel like the process is not meant to be growing much right now. Maybe you're putting it on the back burner. You're not really doing much with the spiritual just yet because you're focusing on more of the material, which is a big deal with your, with your reading so far. There's a lot of the emotional and the material happening with you. So maybe you're noticing your spiritual connection is kind of taking a back seat. Um, maybe you're just not feeling as connected spiritually, which is okay. Um, but I feel like what's happening is um, you're dealing more with the material, the money, the home life, the relationship, the job, and you're not really focusing much on the spiritual, which is fine. 
Um, Knight of Cups is patience and not a lot of action happening. The Page of Swords is a lot of the thought process and the way you communicate your spiritual stuff, but maybe you're just kind of ready to put it under the rug for now, not quite ready to deal with it. Hangman energy is also what kind of gave me that feeling too, because he's very stagnant. So to me, it's like, it's not, it's not a bad thing. Like I'm not getting a bad vibe from you not wanting to tap much into the spiritual right now. I feel like it's a necessary pause. Um, and then you'll pick it up when you're ready. So the fairy cards I pulled, your wish is granted. And then we pulled everything is okay. So it's almost like you're getting that reassurance that by you taking a step back from the spiritual, that there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and then also that your, your wish is granted. Maybe because you're putting more focus on the finances or the relationship or all of those things, all of the material, the physical, and even your emotional, um, that you're starting to see answers. And I love that it's like you your wish is granted because to me that brings me back to... Um, the world card where we're seeing answers we're seeing um finalities happen you're finally receiving what you've been working so hard for so i think that's just a good sign <laughs> spiritually speaking i feel like you just you don't need to do much this year okay um continue doing the things that make you happy but i feel like um more of this year is more focused on the material inner child is popping up. To me, that gives me the vibration of making sure that you are, even though you may be all work, saving money, doing the finances, your job, blah, 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 your responsibilities, the inner child comes up as a reminder to have fun, to set some time aside to have some fun, spiritually speaking as well, setting your mind free, your heart free. Your spiritual doesn't always have to be serious and like ritualistic, you know? Sometimes it's just simply go running, go out for a run, go out and, um, you know, like look up at the cloud. For some reason, I, I was like thinking of the clouds because I see the clouds in the picture. Looking up at the clouds and forming animals with them. You know what I mean? Like just very innocent activities, things that you don't have to do a lot of thinking, things that you could just, you know, completely be one with yourself but more of a free spirit kind of energy you don't have to take it all serious um so i feel like your spirituality needs to have a little bit of a break i also feel like your spirituality needs a little bit of let let the hair down don't take things way too seriously okay have some fun with it <laughs> and then lastly let's do the future forecast so the future forecast, um, anything coming up in the future is subject to change based on your present actions. Um, I'm just merely pulling the energies of what could come in the next year, um, the energies of it and whatnot. So let's just look right in there and see what pops up. I'm seeing like a big square of cards, so I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> For some reason, that's what Spirit's showing me. So I'm going to pull that way. So we have the Hierophant, the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. See, I'm telling you, you have a lot of the material happening right now in your life. The Four of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Wow, that's another Ace. We have the Knight of Swords. The Ace of Swords, I'll put him over here. And we have the Ten of Wands. So what I'm seeing here with your future forecast is um, that at the core, at the core of the reading right in the middle, the Four of Pentacles is saying to me, keep what is most important to you close this next year, okay? You don't have to put everything out on display for everybody. Not everybody needs to know what you're doing. Um, and I feel like it's also practicing having a secret. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing wrong. We shouldn't feel guilty for having secrets in our lives. We don't always have to put everybody, like ev not everybody has to know our next move. And I feel like that's important, especially when you're dealing with a lot of the material right now, because it's easy for friends and family to give their opinions. Okay. So keep some stuff close. 
The other thing I'm seeing is this is a need for saving more money, okay? So making sure you're putting some extra money aside. Um, it doesn't have to be like this huge lump sum every month, but every little bit helps, right? So any little piece that you can give from your paycheck, put it into the savings account because I feel like that's going to be very helpful for you. Um, what's right, right above the core is the three of pentacles. So this is the rebuilding. This is, this is like the relationship rebuilding, making it stronger. This could be re refurnishing the home, finding a new home altogether. Um, some sort of rebuilding or just renewing something in your life. And it's the material because it's the, the pentacles. Okay. Um, also, we have below the core, we have the Ten of Wands, which is the uphill battle, right? You're not meant to see what's going to happen in the future. You just have to trust and also keep working for it. So if there is a goal or something in mind that you are working towards, you're being asked to work hard, okay? Don't give up. Keep doing it. You may have some obstacles in your way. There could be some challenging people coming up in your way in the future, but don't give up, okay? Um, then the first card I pulled was the Hierophant. So this one coming up to me is like making wise money choices. I feel like for some reason I, I heard that when I pulled it. Um, I feel like this is mo wise money choices. You're going to be coming into new opportunities. This could be, like I said, an advancement at work. Um, this could be a promotion of some sort, changing jobs altogether, or coming into money randomly. Okay. When you do that, it's wise to put some money away. Don't spend it all. <laughs> you have three aces. So this future coming up, good new beginnings, lots of new stuff. And that makes sense for you to have gotten the world card um, as your current energy. You're at the end right here, the ending. So all that is going to happen is new beginnings. Um, and so it kind of makes sense for that for you to have received so many aces. I just see so many new beginnings, no many, so many opportunities, passions love for things in life. This could be, you know, re revitalizing your sex life, your passionate life with your with your spouse. Um this like I said random money coming your way or opportunities of such. Um and then the ace of swords is like new inspiring ideas. You might be completely inspired by something or or or, or whatnot. And that's what that ace is revealing, like new ideas, new passions, even conversations, finally speaking your truth. Um, a lot of you, like your, your inner truth that will be coming out within this next year, you're going to have a handle on that. Um, so lots of new things coming your way with that. Um, the Knight of Swords is also indicating action. So when you are taking action in your life this with this with within this next year, Making, making, some of it's going to be impulsive. And I feel like sometimes you do need to make impulsive decisions because if you overthink it, you're going to just drive yourself crazy. So when you do take action, sometimes you're going to have to just take it literally impulsively. Okay. So sometimes it's not always a bad thing to be impulsive. Um, especially if it means you're going to be gaining something you truly want. <laughs> Um, page of Pentacles, like I said, an opportunity coming your way. You might be receiving something surprisingly, or this could be, you know, I mean, I don't know if you guys are starting a family or wanting to start a family. This could be that initial, um, idea or gift to receive to start doing it. Okay. Um, so we could see that as well. Um, let me pull a fairy card. I like this deck. <laughs> But yeah, lots of material stuff coming up for you, my love. Not so much the the, phys the metaphysical or the spiritual. It's a lot of physical stuff, um, material, money, the home, um, all of that kind of stuff. So get ready for it because it's all the things that you can see, touch, and control versus the spiritual. You've got the power. Use your abilities to resolve the situation. You can do it. So you have the power. It's almost like the energies, the spirit is saying that you have the power to create what you want, to manifest what you want in your future. Lots of new beginnings and opportunities. Fresh new starts are coming your way. Take advantage of that. It's such a good feeling when you have a fresh new start versus when you're starting from like the middle of something. You know what I mean? So take advantage of those fresh new starts. 
I also feel like this card is just kind of saying you got this. Like this year is going to be good for you. It's going to be a good year. It's going to be um, a very materialistic year. But it's like finally receiving things that you've been working so hard for is how I'm seeing it. And then we have the third eye chakra. I love it. So to me, that's kind of saying like have trust, have, oops, have trust and have faith that what's meant to happen is going to happen. It's kind of like that kind of that whole thing. Trusting that what is meant to happen will happen for you. Um, and then using your, your intuition as your guide. So even though you may not be tapping much into the spiritual for the next year, um, you're definitely still utilizing your intuition to guide you through things, the tough stuff. Because I'm telling you with that 10 of wands, there will be some uphill battles and some tough stuff, especially when we're dealing with the more material things in life, like bills, money, job stuff, home life stuff, you know, all of the adulting things. Um, but so you could still utilize your intuition to guide you through those stuff. Okay. Those, those things. So I feel like it's kind of a gentle reminder that even though you may be dealing with more of the material stuff of life right now, um, still utilizing your intuition, you still have it. Okay, my love, so this concludes your Layers of You reading. I hope that it um, gave you some stuff to think about, to consider, and also to be excited for. I wish you a very beautiful happy birthday, and thank you. Ooh, actually, I just noticed... <sighs> Your shadow card at the bottom of the deck is, in the, is the other ace, and it's the ace of cups. So the shadow card or the fear card, ace of cups can be the fear of the emotions coming out, the fear of release. So when you're dealing with change, because you're going to be going through some major changes, especially for the physical, um, there could be that fear of that, but let it flow. I feel like that's like the reminder of let it flow. Don't try to hold it all in. Don't try to control it. Um, so really cool that you got in all four aces in your reading. To me, this is going to be a very good year of receiving. It's a year of, of seeing a lot of new starts, fresh new starts, amazing stuff coming your way, my love. So enjoy it. Make the most of it. Have a beautiful, happy birthday. And um, I will talk to you soon. Bye, my love.